Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, on the 26th of August, uh, uh, Sunday afternoon, I had the great joy to attend the Tournament of the Minds in um, my electorate. It was at the University of Wollongong and at their Hope Theatre, and I thank the university for their support of this great program. Uh, it, this Tournament of the Minds is a problem-solving, challenge-based program for primary and secondary students. It's designed to foster creative, collaborative and critical thinking. On this occasion, there were 650 students aged 6 to 16 years old from 46 schools across our region participating. The program's open to all education sectors, but I would like to acknowledge that our public schools made up 83 per cent of those participating this year. 38 out of the 46 schools, but all of the schools did a tremendous job. The New South Wales South Coast region is one of 11 regions in the Tournament of the Mines New South Wales, and over 350 students participated across New South Wales in 2018. It's a single event in a, which is the culmination of weeks and months of highly high quality uh, extension of their and enrichment of their learning and exploration of the challenges that they are addressing. It's run at a regional level by volunteers and uh, it was tremendous to see the Hope Theatre just packed with hundreds of students and their parents and their teachers and the volunteers who participate. I was very pleased to present awards and I congratulate all of the schools who won awards on the day. Uh, they were very excited and, uh, and still creative in, in the opportunity to have their photo with their award, doing all sorts of uh, uh, performance uh, for the photos so that um, they were obviously still pumped and enjoying it at the end of what had been a long session. Uh, I had, there were, um, the opportunity followed up for the schools that won in some sections to go on and compete at the state uh, finals. And I want to particularly congratulate Warilla High School, which got honours in the secondary STEM, Smith Hill High School, which got honours in the secondary the arts, and also Smith Hill High School, who were the winners of the secondary language literature. This now means that Smith Hill High School team will travel to Darwin in October to represent the South Coast region and New South Wales at the international final. Um, and I think their facilitators, Brian Cutler and Amy Kang, will be thrilled as we are. I want to congratulate and thank David Wasink and the team of volunteers who work and put innumerable hours in to make this opportunity available to our students. And uh, you could see on the day that everyone had a tremendous thing and our future is in very good hands if they're the problem solvers of the future. I thank the member. If thank no you. member